Coach, day one of training camp. Before we get really to the business, just the overall excitement you, as well as the locker room, is feeling to get back underway here day one. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, long, long off season, and uh, you know, kind of had been counting down the days before leading up, and um, I think today was a, a good first day for for our group. And uh, you know there was a, a good energy from from the group, and uh, happy to see that. And uh, you know hopefully we can get better every single day going forward here. And with that, the roster will continue to build throughout the week, not just your training camp, but as you lead into the preseason game on Thursday. Right now, out of the 14 players on the training camp roster, six of them were in some way a part of last season's club. What do you want to see from those players in particular to elevate their play, especially with the newcomers? Yeah, as of right now, just looking for for the effort and the attitude. Um, you know, see see where they're at in those those categories. Um, you know, that's that's going to be the biggest thing for us right off the right off the start is how prepared we are to work and uh, how willing we are to to compete. So, um, guys showed that early on today. Um, you know, they were able to uh, to compete and battle. Uh, both sides of it, offensively, defensively, guys, guys showed some some good things, and obviously there's going to be things that we need to continue to work on, um, and that's you know that's why we have training camp to to make sure we're sharp for the regular season. So the players as well will be joining your roster that you had last season. Right now with the Phantoms, uh, what can you share with Royals fans about those players and when you can expect them to arrive, and what do you want to see from them as well, given that they'll be fresh off of some competition at the a level yeah um you know obviously last year we had some some real good um really good players from from the affiliate uh, they were a big part of our team and you know there's going to be some some players that uh, that will fill those roles this year um there'll be some announcements going forward as far as uh who who those players will be um so we'll just kind of hold off on on some of that for right now um but you know, expectations. You know, these these guys are professional hockey players. They're looking to to move up to the American League, um, do what they can to further their careers, and you know, we're going to do whatever we can to help them uh, get to that next level and stay at that next level. And um, a lot of that comes from the details of their their game and, and some of the things that they'll need to uh, to work on and continue to grow. Um, and you know, that's that's some of the reasons why they'll they'll end up with us to 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 become better hockey players. Second year forward, Brendan Hoffman was out on the ice taking some shots, but wasn't in gear. Uh, status update on Brendan? Yeah, um, for, for Hoff, we'll, we'll expect him to be on the ice in the next few days with us. Uh, you know, nothing too, too big of a concern, just uh, some minor stuff. And uh, like I said, we'll expect him to be on the ice uh, hopefully in the next couple days. Question? Um, you know, your your expectations can't be too too high. You know, from from a kind of a, a mixed bag of, of players. Um, you know, obviously, like we mentioned previously, the effort and the attitude. That's that's what I'm looking for, especially early on. Um, you know, if they can if they can really show that they're prepared to compete and and be professional hockey players. Um, I know we don't have a ton of first year players, but it, it goes for everybody. Um, we need to make sure that we're an extremely competitive team and uh, hopefully they work hard enough here where it's just second nature. We don't have to talk about it too much going forward. It's just uh, a part of their, their game. And what do you expect from your returning guys like Mike Chen, Butcher, those guys? Yeah, uh, the returning players, um, you know, help out in, in some of the small things, you know, be the first guy in, in, the, in the line for, for a drill. Um, you know, talk to the guys that might not know exactly what I'm looking for in certain in certain situations, or um, you know, kind of be the uh, the in between voice in the dressing room um, when I'm not in there. Guys that uh, guys that have been through it, guys that were kind of a part of the leadership group uh, last season, um, and then you know some of the guys uh, that were those first year players, first year pros. Um, expect them to take a, a big step forward just overall uh, contributing as leaders contributing on and off the ice production things like that you know the expectation level it, it goes up for everybody
Patty, questions? Coach, uh, first of all, thanks for your time today. Sort of going off of Sam's question, how do you feel like your returning players can help um, lead the team to sort of maintain the standard or the expectation that was set last year? Yeah, um, it's something that, you know, kind of kind of mentioned it. Um, hopefully it's, it's not something that you have to talk about too often. Um, I feel like the times where I felt I had to talk about it or the staff had to talk about those things is when things were starting to slide down and, you know, kind of dropping off a little bit. So um, hopefully they can internally keep each other accountable, hold that standard um, up as high as possible. And, uh, you know, they, they know what I expect out of them. And so hopefully it's a, it's a case where, um, you know, they're doing a, a good enough job where it's not something that we have to continually talk about. Um, like, cause like I'd mentioned, it's, it's the times where things start to drop off where we have to, uh, kind of hammer those things home. And last year, obviously, um, you guys made the playoffs once again, um, and the season ended shorter than you would have liked, but what do you think uh, your team particularly the returning players can learn from last year's experience as they added to this year's season? I think some of the uh, the things that they can really take away from last season were kind of the, the missed opportunities throughout the way. Um, you know, you can look at early, early in the season where, you know, you drop a few points at the start of the year in Newfoundland. Um, you know, midway through the season, we kind of hit a bit of a lull. And, and then you look at how playoffs went where Obviously, we, we had success in the, in the first round, but, you know, uh, a home win in the first few games there against Newfoundland would have really made a, a big difference, um, especially that overtime game that was, that was pretty, uh, pretty big um, to drop down in the series that, that way. So hopefully some of those, those moments are, are in their memory where, you know, I've been in that situation before. I know how to react. I know how we can we can come out of the, these these moments with with wins rather than overtime loss or just a straight up loss, because um, those points are extremely valuable.